Hi everyone! This week we're going to be doing some drawings of different types of dogs. So that will be fun, but uh, before we do that, I wanted to give you a little lesson on some art history. I wanted to tell you a little bit about a famous, really iconic American artist named Norman Rockwell. And he is one of my all-time favorite artists. Many of you probably are already familiar with Norman Rockwell. Um, he lived uh, really during almost the entire uh, 20th century. He was, he was born in the late 1800s and he was still alive when I was a young girl. When I was a little girl, he, he died. But um, he, he lived to be in his 80s and um, he was born in New York and he was really a master at capturing uh, American life and capturing people. And um, he's probably most well known for doing the covers of a magazine for many, many years, a magazine called the Saturday Evening Post. And uh, I'm gonna show you some close-up pictures in just a minute, but I have this book that features a lot of his artwork and um, a lot of a lot of his artwork was featured on the cover of this magazine and here are some of my favorites. Um, a lot of his artwork was really sometimes considered um, like the ideal America, <laughs> um, but other times he just he captured uh, social issues, uh, what was going on in the world like right here in these pictures. This was during World War II. And so he's depicting um, life in America during that time as people were dealing with war. Um, here's another famous painting of his. This is actually called a triple self-portrait. This was given to me uh, by a dear friend of mine. And it's a triple self-portrait because it's him and he's drawing or painting a portrait of himself on the canvas and he's looking at himself in the mirror. And again, I'll be showing you a more close up view of this in a minute, but um, nothing in his paintings was by accident. Every detail that is in his paintings is there for a reason. So the more you look at his work and the more you study it, uh, the more you will appreciate it. He did, uh, many, many works of art. I think I read that he did like over 4,000 paintings in his lifetime. So there's a lot of, a lot of uh, work to enjoy by Norman Rockwell. And uh, so I'm gonna show you some of those. And I'm also gonna show you some pictures of dogs because um, <laughs> the, the connection here is that he did often include dogs in his paintings. He was a dog lover, he had a pet um, dog. And so uh, I'm gonna show you some specific examples of his paintings that included different types of dogs. And then we will eventually get into drawing different types of dogs. This is that triple self portrait that I told you about. And I wanted to show you the details of the self-portraits that he has hanging on his canvas. He features four famous artists that were an inspiration to him. And you might recognize right away that Van Gogh is there and Picasso and Rembrandt. Here's a famous painting he did called The Four Freedoms. And here are some paintings where he featured dogs. So we're gonna be talking about dogs today. I wanted to show you some of his paintings of dogs. Um, I believe he had a beagle as a pet. So you often see paintings featuring beagles like this one. And uh, another famous painting called A Boy and His Dog features a beagle. And here are some actual photographs of Norman Rockwell with his dog working in his studio. Um, here's another one of him and his dog. So here I'm gonna start showing you some pictures of real dogs. I don't have a dog, but this is my daughter and son-in-law's dog, Coda, who is a German Shepherd and is super adorable. And uh, here's a more um, 
official picture of a German Shepherd. Here are some Greyhounds. Greyhounds are very unusual looking dogs. We're going to draw one of those together. And then here is a Dachshund. We're going to draw some, some Dachshund dogs together. And finally, I'm going to show you a picture of a standard poodle. And uh, this poodle has quite the haircut, but we are also going to draw a picture of a standard poodle. Okay, so we're going to draw um, several different breeds of dogs together. We're going to keep it real simple. And so what I'd like you to do is try each of the different breeds that I'm going to demonstrate. And then when we're all done with that, I'm going to give you an assignment of choosing one particular dog to do more of a finished drawing of. Okay, so we'll talk about that more in, in a few minutes. But um, all of the dogs are going to start with circles and ovals for their body. Um, the difference is some of them are going to be smaller, some of them are going to be bigger, some of them are going to be more spaced apart or close together. And um, that's what's going to help determine the shape of each dog. So here you see the dachshund and the greyhound, and right away you can notice some major differences. Um, but let's start with the dachshund. So um, here's one I had already drawn, and I'm just going to walk you through it. We're going to start with two small circles that you should be able to fit one circle in the middle. So you might even want to draw that third circle if that helps you to space it properly so that there's enough distance between your two circles. And then we're going to just draw a wavy line like this connecting and a wavy line here connecting those two circles. Okay. Uh, then we're going to draw a circle for his head and these dachshunds, or you might have been heard them called um, hot dog dogs, um, they don't have a very long neck. They have quite a short neck and they have quite short legs as well. So we want to keep that in mind as we draw the dachshund. So I'm not going to leave a lot of space. I'm going to just put a little bit of space and then I'm going to draw a circle. And that's going to be for the start of the head. And this circle should be smaller than this circle. The circle's in his body. All right, then I'm going to draw his nose, his, his kind of muzzle and, and mouth and nose um, part of his head. So I'll, instead of coming out from the top, I'm going to come out from about here like that, straight out. And then I'm going to curve down and back towards the circle. Now feel free to pause this video anytime you need and uh, take your time and then start the video again and you know stop and start and pause it whenever you need to. All right so after we do that we're going to curve down towards the circle and connect it like this. Okay here, we're going to curve this a little bit, and then we want to draw more of a straight line across, kind of to flatten out the top of his head just a bit. And then we're going to add an ear. Of course, all dogs, all the different breeds of dogs have different types of ears. Some stand straight up, some are more floppy ears. This dog, his ear tends to be a little bit more floppy. So I'm just going to draw a curved line like this and draw kind of a floppy little ear right here. And if you still have some space here, you can connect the neck like that. All right, so I'm just going to draw a little curved line for his nose and his eye is going to go right about there. So it's not in the center of the circle, it's a little bit more left a little bit closer to the edge of his face here. And pretty much for all the dogs, I'm gonna use this shape for the eye. I'm gonna draw a little curved line and then like a V, sideways V shape like that. That's pretty much what I'm gonna do for all the dogs. Okay, so there we go. We have an eye, we have a nose, and now we just need a tail and some legs. 
So his tail kind of just swings back. It's not too long, but it's not too short either. And he's got these little stubby legs, little short legs. So um, what might help you is if you draw two lines like this, this bottom line is gonna be where the legs or the feet, the paws end that are on this side of his body. And this line is gonna be where the, the two legs that are on the other side of his body, where they stop. Because those legs are a little bit further away from us, just by a couple inches, but it would appear that they're a little bit higher than the ones that are on this side of his body. So I'm gonna start with the legs that are on this side of his body. So from this circle, I'm gonna swing back like this halfway, so I'm halfway down to this line, okay, and then I'm going to come down and a little bit forward with two skinny lines like that, down and a little bit forward, and then I'm going to create a paw, and the way I create, create the paw is I come forward and I curve down, and I'm just going to curve back and up towards the leg. Okay, can you see that? So there's one leg. And now let me do the leg that's on in the front. I'm just gonna come down kind of like a two angled lines, almost like a triangle and to make it into a skinny leg. And then I'm gonna do another paw just like that. So forward, curving down, flat on the bottom at first, but then I'm gonna curve up like that. Okay, so I have the two legs that are on the front part of his body. Now I wanna do the legs that are on the other side of his body. So all I have to do is mimic or repeat this shape, these lines. I'm just gonna do it a little bit smaller and a little bit further back. Maybe I want that line to be a little lower. Like that. See, so I'm just gonna repeat. And uh, on this one, well, yeah, I think I'll repeat. On the one up here, I did it in front. On this one, I'm gonna do it in the back. Okay, so I'm just showing a little hint of his other leg. All right, so when I'm done, of course, if you wanted to fully color this, shade it or color it, if you wanted to outline it with, um, marker you could do that and once you did that then you could go back and erase these lines in the middle okay so i'm not going to take the time to do all that right now um, but that is our dachshund and so later if you decide to choose this dog and you want to do more of a finished drawing and fully shaded or color it in with colored pencil, that's great. But for now, I'm gonna move on to another breed of dog. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the Greyhound. And like I said before, the Greyhound is a very unusual looking dog and it's extremely fast. Um, it's a very, very fast running dog. But uh, notice how high up this curved line goes towards his hind legs. So uh, we wanna be sure to include that in our drawing. So we're gonna start with two circles, just like we did with the dachshund. Actually, it's gonna be a circle and an oval, uh, but this time the circle in front's gonna be very big, much bigger than the dachshund. And instead of a circle here, we're gonna do a long oval like this, that's going more vertical up and down like that. And then I'm gonna add those wavy lines again. So there's a wavy line at the top. And now this one is gonna curve way up. Almost, it's gonna look funny. It's gonna look like it's too skinny there, but it's not. And uh, you might even decide, I think I want that to be even lower there. So I think I need to make this circle a little bit bigger even 
So it's even more of an extreme from low to high there. Okay. Now, don't forget, you can pause this video anytime you need to. So uh, take your time, stop and start the video often, and that way you can catch up because I'm going to move rather quickly. All right, so now the neck of the Greyhound is much taller, has much more of a neck than the Dachshund did. The Dachshund had just a short little neck. This guy has a very tall, skinny neck, so I'm gonna leave quite a bit of space and then a very small circle for its head. Okay, so I would say I could fit at least one circle in there and then another half, so maybe one and a half circles this size can fit in here. That's how far away it is. And then I'm gonna connect it like this. Long skinny neck. The shape of his head is very similar to what we drew for the dachshund, only it's gonna be a little skinnier and longer. So I'm gonna come out just like I did with the dachshund, only maybe a little further. And when I come down, I'm gonna make it a little thinner, a little skinnier here. But I'm gonna also come up and flatten out his head like I did with the other. And then his ears, of course their ears, you know, they're not always in the same position all the time, but I'm gonna make these ears kind of wavy, and kind of coming out like that. So there's one ear, and then I'm gonna show another one right here. Okay, uh, then he just needs a little nose and I'm gonna give him an eye. Again, not in the center. We're gonna find center and then we're gonna move to the left, a little bit closer to the edge of his face here and give him an eye. Okay, now he needs a tail and some legs. So his tail is a little bit longer than the dachshund and skinnier, longer and skinnier. And um, maybe I wanna have it curve out a little bit like that. And then his legs, we're gonna do the same motion where we came back, curved back first, and then down and forward, only his, long, his legs are much longer. So I'm gonna swing back. And maybe again, we wanna add those lines to help us. So there's that first line. So I'm coming down halfway to that line. Now, where do you put the line? Well, that's where you just have to kind of use your best judgment, try to uh, anticipate how long these legs should be and then draw a little line. And if you have to move it later, well, then you have to move it. But there's where I put mine. And now I'm gonna draw the bottom part of his leg. So I'm gonna come down and forward again with a much longer and skinny part of his leg. And then the paws. So very similar to what we did with the dachshund, I'm gonna come forward and then down and then either straight across or you can curve it just a little bit and then up to join the leg. All right, so I'm just keeping it very simple. And um, then the front leg over here, I'm just gonna use like a long, skinny triangle shape. Very long and skinny, about halfway. See how it's halfway down? And then I'm gonna draw the rest of that very skinny leg and a paw. Okay, and then I'm gonna double up for these legs that are behind. So I'm gonna add that little line where I want those to stop, just to help me, give me a little guide. And then I'm gonna double up or mimic, redraw the shape of that leg. And then the shape of this one. Okay, and again, if you want to outline shade i might soften this part just a little bit maybe i drew it a little too extreme this one i'm going to outline in gray um, so once i did that 
then I could go back and erase all my pencil lines that are in the middle. Okay, so again, I'm not gonna finish this one, but there is a basic guide to drawing the Greyhound. And you know, maybe I made his neck a little too thick. I think up here it looks a little bit more realistic because he's very, he's a very slender dog, very strong and fast, but very slender. So his neck is slender and thin, his legs are slender and thin. So I think here I made his neck a little too thick, but uh, anyway, if you want to continue and choose the Greyhound, that's great. But for now, I'm going to move on to another breed of dog. Okay, so now we're going to do this standard poodle. And uh, I'm going to actually use this as my reference picture. And uh, not all standard poodles are cut like this. <laughs> this is almost like a show dog. Um, you know, like the way they cut them for dog shows, trim them but uh, might be fun to draw. So again, we're gonna start with two circles, only this time we're gonna have a big circle in the front and a small circle in the back. And you should be able to fit one of these small circles in between like that. Okay, and then we're going to do that wavy line. And kind of similar with the Greyhound as far as how high up, since we're coming, coming from such a big circle here and coming up to a small circle there, we get uh, that kind of shape. Okay, and then a um, little bit longer neck than, than the Dachshund, but not as long maybe as the Greyhound. We're gonna put another circle here. And then we're gonna connect it like this okay and then very similar to the other dogs not from the top but from maybe about here we're going to come out curve down and back towards the head so um, maybe a little bit skinnier more similar to the greyhound than the dachshund as far as how how thick or wide it is um, and we can add its little nose right here. And we can add an eye. And then we're gonna do all the, the, the fun little poofy um, fur on the poodle. So um, on the top of his head or her head, you can just do kind of a wavy line like this if you want. And we're gonna do a droopy, fuzzy, furry, ear like that might be kind of hard to see but if I outline it kind of this wiggly wavy furry fuzzy line like this once I outline it and erase my pencil lines you can much easier see what I'm doing there see okay now we're gonna add a tail and the tail is going to go straight up, or maybe not straight up, but up and on an angle like this. So not straight up in the air, but on an angle up. What I meant was really the tail's not hanging down like on some dogs. So instead of going straight up, though, it's on an angle. And then I'm going to add that poofy tail like that. So poofy tail. All right, now we're gonna add some legs. And so very similar to the other dogs, we're gonna swing back like this and then come down and a little bit forward with that skinny part of the leg. And a lot of times the poodle will have a big poofy, see the big poofy fur? down by its foot so we can add that before we draw the paw. Okay, so let me show you what that'll look like once I have it outlined. And then I can erase this line. Okay, and again, if you wanna draw 
those lines to kind of help you remember to uh, end the feet in just the right spot. And then we'll draw the leg in the front. Again, we'll use that kind of triangle shape and then skinny bottom, a paw, and then we'll do that poofy, that poofy fur. Okay, and then I'm gonna double up, just like I did with the other dogs, kind of repeat the same shape, only a little bit smaller and a little to the side. Okay, and then when I'm outlining, It's gonna look something like this. I'm gonna, I'm going very quickly. So again, you can pause the video anytime you need and then just start it again. Okay, you probably have some fuzzy fur here, maybe some fuzzy, fuzzy fur or fuzzy, uh, yeah, fur. <laughs> Dogs have fur, right? Okay, so there's the standard poodle with the fancy, fancy haircut. Uh, if you wanted to close this off here like that, you could. And I, I, I realize I should not have outlined that line right. Or yeah, that is the ear. That's the ear. Okay, I'm good. There we go. <laughs> All right, so there's the, the standard poodle. And we're going to move on now to another breed of dog. Okay, the last dog I'm going to demonstrate is the German Shepherd. Um, but I do encourage you, if you're enjoying drawing these different breeds of dogs, I wanna encourage you to um, maybe research and find some reference pictures of other types of dogs. You could do the Beagle, like um, Norman Rockwell featured in a lot of his paintings. He had a pet Beagle, so you could do a Beagle. You could do, um, you know, there's so many different types of dogs. Uh, you could do a little Chihuahua or you could do um, a terrier, um, you could do a Doberman. I mean, there's so many dogs. So I encourage you to keep uh, researching and drawing different shapes and, and breeds of dogs. Um, but for now, we're gonna do the German Shepherd. So again, two circles. Uh, this time, the circle in the back is just a tiny bit smaller than the front circle. They're almost the same size. And again, you should be able to fit one of these smaller circles in the middle. And then not so much of a wave this time. A lot of the other dogs, we had more of a wave, maybe not so much of a wave this time. And just a curve line coming towards that back circle like that. And not as long of a neck as the Greyhound and the Standard Poodle. Maybe a little bit uh, thicker of a neck and maybe not quite as long. So I'm gonna draw a line here and then I'm gonna draw a curve line that kind of reaches down towards the bottom part of this circle so the neck is a little thicker. Okay, for the face, very similar to what we did up here on the standard poodle, only maybe a little bit more, a little um, bigger perhaps, like this. And then the ears are going to be um, really going straight up in the air, kind of like triangles like this, maybe with a little bit of a wave. So like a triangle, but I'm adding a little bit of a wave there. Okay, and then again, a nose and an eye. Okay, for the tail, it's gonna be more kind of swinging back with a curved line and maybe making a little bit thicker of a tail like that. They have a lot of hair on their tail. And then for the legs, um, very similar as far as swinging back, but I'm gonna swing back a little bit further. So see how on the poodle, when I came back, 
this part of the leg was still pretty much under the backside of the dog, whereas on the German Shepherd, it's a little bit more behind, behind the German Shepherd, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna swing back a little bit further, maybe like that. Okay, so see how I've gone past, him, past the rear of him? And then I'm gonna draw that line. I'm gonna come down and forward a little bit and maybe a little bit bigger paw. A little bit, I'm gonna do an angled line here and do a little bit bigger paw than I did on the, uh, on the poodle or the dachshund. All right, and then the front leg, again, more of like a triangle shape, and then the skinny part of the leg, and then a little bit bigger paw. So I just have to add the legs that are on the other side of his body. So again, I'm gonna draw that little guideline for myself. And I'm just gonna, again, it's mimicking or redrawing the same shape, the same lines that I did here. I'm just doing it a little bit smaller maybe, or um, yeah, a little bit smaller and I'm ending it a little bit higher on a higher plane. Okay, now, um, if you wanna put the leg here, you can, or like you'll notice on this one, I put it more in the front. And if you wanna change it a little bit, like he's walking or something, you could do that. Okay. Now, we didn't talk about markings on the dog, but um, often, Dogs have, you know, markings, they have spots, they have, um, like on the German Shepherd, there's maybe a large area that's black. Part of him is like a tan color, part of him is black. So, you know, those kind of details you can do with either colored pencil or with marker. Like this might be more of the black portion of his body. Maybe I would outline his whole body in black. So you guys get the idea. Um, so that's the German Shepherd. Now, um, Again, I'd like you to pick one of these dogs, or it doesn't have to be one of these dogs, it can be any dog, and do more of a finished drawing, and it can be of the whole body, fully colored, or if you want, you could do more of a, a close-up. This is more of a close-up that I started of a German Shepherd, and this is actually Coda. She is such a beautiful dog. And um, this picture is actually a semi-profile, so, all the other dogs that we drew were um, profiles. We were seeing the dog just from the side view. But uh, in this picture, she's not looking straight at us, but it's not a total profile either. We do see a little bit of the other eye. And so it's a little bit more challenging of an angle, but you can see how I just kind of penciled it out. And then I would add maybe some color with colored pencil. And um, I'm not going to finish this whole drawing now, but I just wanted to show you um, just an example of your options as far as doing a more finished drawing of a dog. So as I'm doing this, I'm thinking of Molly Ann. And Molly Ann is gonna be in my class next year. And I know she really would love to learn how to draw a collie. And so I'm sorry, Molly Ann, that I didn't do a collie in this uh, video, but you can certainly try a collie on your own. But anyway, um, so I'm just coloring in with some colored pencil and I would work on this for a while and maybe if I get it done, I will um, post a picture of my finished drawing. But again, choose one of these dogs after you've practiced drawing the different breeds 
and um, do a full colored, full colored drawing. So I hope you had fun drawing dogs and I can't wait to see your drawings. And uh, don't forget to also maybe take some time and look more into Norman Rockwell. Uh, there's so many paintings um, that, he, that he did. Like I said, maybe over 4,000 different paintings that you can look at online. There's also a Norman Rockwell Museum. So you could look up that website. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful week.